Good morning. So today I'm filming a what I eat in a day video because Bryson has been sick these past few days. He got his first cold and it's so sad. He's not feeling good. So I still gotta eat. So I thought I would share with you guys some meals that I've been loving lately. It'll just be a good old fashioned what I eat in a day. I'm starting off with a whole bunch of water. I have not been my best at drinking water. I don't know what it is, but the cold, like I have to force myself to drink water. I like to start my morning off with some Nespresso. I actually have a huge box here. I actually ordered for our family. Our family's coming into town and that means we've got lots of people drinking coffee, so we need lots of coffee. I always try to get like one seasonal taste it but i'm pretty similar with the coffees that i drink i've been on my warm coffee grind though i've been drinking lots of hot coffee it's just so nice in the morning so this is like a staple go-to half caffeine this is probably one of my favorites that espresso makes it's so good i got some seasonal stuff so there's the seasonal delight spice i really liked the caramel nut and they didn't have that and then i got the peppermint wheel just for people if they want something different my go-to iced coffee is the iced ligero this is just two shots of espresso but it's the best flavor and you just splash a little bit of creamer it's so good lately i've been loving the stormy of just for a regular cup of coffee the lazio is also a really good one but that's more of a blonde roast my mom loves columbia xander was drinking a lot of that at her place so i got two of those and then this one you can't beat odysseo i don't know but this is like the most basic cup if you think espressos are kind of wacky or wild which I know when I first started drinking espressos I was like whoa these are strong that's a really good like just basic one and I always get the um, sample packs and they gave us a decaf which you love when they do that I'm gonna make myself a warm beverage and then we'll have breakfast I'm gonna go with the half decaf this morning because I have been drinking so much coffee and I need to chill So this is the creamer that I've been using. This is from Trader Joe's and I put it in the warmer and I just pop a little bit in like that. I will most likely feed Bryson before we eat breakfast. So I'm gonna go feed him and then we'll make ourselves some breakfast. Are you doing intermittent fasting? All okay, right, so make me some breakfast. So cool. The lighting here is so much better. Pop your camera in the fridge. Um, okay, it's time for me to eat. Bryson ate all of his breakfast, which is awesome because he hasn't been eating really much these past few days because he's sick. And it's honestly just like it's a cold, but it's he's never been sick before. Um, so anyway, okay. I'm gonna do what I typically do in the mornings is I'll make myself some eggs, a potato. So in the freezer, we have these are awesome. These are from Trader Joe's, just the regular hash browns. And then I love cottage cheese. And adding it to anything is just so good. So I'm going to do eggs, cottage cheese, hash browns, and then like a little bit of avocado. Okie dokie. There's always two types of what I eat in a day videos. There's, by the way, that has not changed. No matter what, I always leave my cabinets open and I leave the damn fridge open every day. I don't know what it is. Like I just, I can't close them all the way. It's very frustrating story of my life. Anyway, what I was saying was there's two types of what I eat in a day videos. I feel like there's like super chatty ones, which I'm going to do today because I feel like chatting with you guys. Um, and then there's like aesthetic, like let's cook and be pretty. We are going to do chatty today. So I hope you guys are down to chat. If you guys are new-ish to my channel, you don't know me. I'm the, like the laziest cook, but I try my best to eat as healthy as I can. So olive oil, I'm not a huge fan of cooking. I try to be, I feel like that's gonna be like a goal. It's always a goal for me is to cook more, but it's just tough, man. So I'm gonna do two eggs. And then I like to air fry my hash browns. So I will just pop them in while I'm cooking my eggs and then flip them about halfway through. I honestly just press air fry and start. Okay, so 
So here is the breakfast. I forgot I actually eat a lot of the cottage cheese yesterday, so this is all I've got. So sad. But usually I have like a heaping amount of cottage cheese. Um, but I added some grapefruit spears. I'm going to throw in some ketchup because I'm a ketchup gal. But this should tie me over until lunch. All right. It is lunch time. Lunch time is always rush time for me. I don't have time to make myself a meal, but I get so hungry during the day because I'm constantly doing like these home improvements. I'm running up and down the stairs with Bryson. Like I am exhausted by lunch time and I'm like, hungry so i don't just want an avocado toast i want like a full meal veggies protein carbs factor is such a good option for me it's also our sponsor for the day you guys have heard of me talk about factor but they are the easiest most convenient option for lunch and they're so hearty they're so yummy so this one is sun-dried tomato spinach fazuli and it's like a pasta there's always some sort of veggie so it's like really healthy a lot of the like potatoes are made with like cauliflower but they add lots of cheese or something in there to make it taste super good so it's healthy but it doesn't taste like health if that makes sense like it's a substantial meal and it feels very filling it's yummy it's delicious i wonder what this veggie is it looks like zucchini italian herb roasted zucchini i think i'm gonna have to fight xander over that one because we only have two left we like literally go through factor so fast in this house so this is the black pepper sage pork chop and this has smoked cheddar brussels sprouts and creamy broccoli i don't know <laughs> i'm okay with both of these i'm gonna have to ask see which ones he wants um but basically this is how fast it is you just Pop a few holes in here, throw them in the microwave for two minutes, and you got yourself a full meal. You don't have to do dishes, <laughs> there's no mess. I'm gonna make it nice and pretty for you guys today because I don't know what I eat in a day, but I typically will just eat straight out of the carton, and it's just so fast. Like, literally two minutes done, eat, on to the next. Like, I just don't have time for lunch. Lunch is actually my least favorite meal of the day, and Factor has made it such a good part of the day because it's really yummy like i said it's so good it's so filling just delicious so they're giving my followers a 50 percent off if you click on the link in the description box i'll leave it all linked down below for you guys and use the code renee50 you can get 50 percent off of your first factor box it's a great option going into the new year if you want to be healthy you just don't have time or if you work a lot do factor like it's so so easy and so yummy so i will leave them linked down below for you guys lunch we've got sun-dried tomato and spinach fazuli with italian herb roasted zucchini and then there's black pepper sage pork chop with smoked cheddar brussels sprouts and creamy broccoli i told them it's up to you oh good okay i got what i wanted i got the pork chops and it's always so much fun because we get the chef's choice there's like so many options but i like chef's choice because you don't really know what you're gonna get really yummy food and it's always fun to open the box and fight over who gets what so this is lunch factor actually came out with protein shakes i'll have one too <laughs> do you want the banana i'd rather have the cold brew <laughs> all right i'm gonna do the chocolate banana right so I think that. Okay, I am cleaning up all the bathrooms of the house and I'm getting a little tired. Bryson's down for his second nap of the day. I need a Celsius. I don't need it, but I've been living off of them during Vlogmas and they're honestly freaking gasoline, guys. Like, I can chug one of these and I have energy through like three days plus. I love the grape, that's like my favorite flavor. Cheers to gasoline. It's it's probably not healthy for you. Like, I don't think it is at all. Yeah, I don't think it is. We can knock it off next year. I don't think you have ever seen our Christmas tree lit up. Look at that. She's pretty. We're gonna cook. I'm gonna cook. Because usually Z does the cooking, but I've been waiting for this recipe because I think I can do it. And I just came up with it in my head. I think it could be really good. I found, and I've had these before, these um, chickens by Kevin. It's just marinated chicken in here. You just like microwave it. You can also do the stove top. And then I got some kimchi, which I love kimchi. And then some pickled onions. We've got some white rice here. So I'm just gonna... And we're gonna fill up just basically like... I also heard this. Okay, let's try this. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. Now we're gonna boil this. Once it's boiled, we're gonna put it to a simmer and let it rest with the top on. We've got our chicken and we've got our sauce. 
And this is Korean style barbecue chicken. The chicken is already fully cooked, so I don't have to worry about poisoning people. <laughs> I get freaked out with chicken because I don't want it to be raw and give someone food poisoning or something. But I also don't want to like overcook the out of it and have it just be gross. So I like cooking already cooked. <laughs> But I have, a lot of you guys have noticed, gotten more comfortable in the kitchen. And I think a lot of this is going to be so funny. But I think a lot of it has to do with that there's no fire alarms in here. We have like one fire alarm somewhere I've seen. But I realize there's no fire alarms in this house. So it doesn't freak me out if there's like lots of smoke. I think it's the fire alarm that freaks me out because it's like this weird fear of like super loud noise, being stressed while cooking being stressed that something's burning like everyone hearing it and knowing that you basically burned your kitchen down like there's just so much that goes into that damn fire alarm i'm glad that i don't have to do it. when i was in college i was taking a shower i lit my candle and i closed the door and i was in a dorm with like three other random roommates that i wasn't too close with and took my shower and the fire alarm went off and i panicked thinking it's like a drill everyone's running outside i'm <laughs> i gotta run put my robe on like i have shampoo in my hair so i just like go into this panic mode my heart's racing i like go outside i open the door and then the fire alarm just stops and i'm like was it the steam from the shower that set it off like that doesn't that's not fire right that's not smoke but whatever close the door back again and it went right back off and i'm like oh i'm naked again like i gotta rush panic all this stuff and i open the door and where i had lit my candle i had this fake plant next to it and it was like whoosh on fire and i panicked and i just started hitting it really fast with my hands burned the shit out of my hands i just panicked i didn't know what to do like that sounds so stupid but now i know you just throw a towel over it i think that's where my fear of fire started <laughs> and fire alarms to be exact because i'm like everyone in the dorms are gonna find out that renee caught a plant on fire she's running outside naked <laughs> like but it's fine. I'm here. I'm still here. My roommates are still here somewhere. God knows where. Okie dokie, here is the final product. I think this looks pretty amazing, I must say. Now I'm going to surprise Xander. Here we go! Shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake that booty. Shake. We got, what do we got for dinner? Are you scared? It smells good. Hi, Bubba. Am I gonna be surprised? Yeah. Bryson seems to like it. <coughs> Never mind, it's gross. Sander. What do we have? It's got some kimchi in it. It's got some chicken in it. I'm open to it. What? <laughs> What? Mama made dinner. The rice could have used five more minutes. Mm. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Okay, we're gonna end the night with some half-baked Ben and Jerry's. Guilty. <laughs> Christmas calories don't count. It's not Christmas. Very frozen. Quite the icebox there at the gas station. Mm. Pretty good, huh? Chocolate vanilla ice cream with gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and fudge brownie. All right, I think I'm going to end the vlog and we're also going to be ending Vlogmas just because Bryson's sick, yeah, and he's my number one priority. Plus I did 20 days, which is a lot considering the move, having a baby, all of the above. I'm really proud of myself. I went into it saying I wasn't going to put too much pressure on myself and the beginning was pretty smooth sailing. Like I felt very comfortable. Thank you too. Our, our new nanny. Our new nanny for yeah. that. Yeah, that was... And you. I've never done Vlogmas with somebody. So never have I ever. Me too. Never have I ever done Vlogmas with somebody. You've never done Vlogmas. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you probably next year, if not like the week before. Do you have any thoughts about Vlogmas? Final thoughts? Mm -hmm. I'm curious what were our famous or our favorite moments. My favorite moments was anything to do with renovation like anything that i've transformed i love watching a transformation and i also loved like the family aspect of it i've always done like a solo vlogmas so having like you and bryson and all these memories to look back on to 
it's gonna be my it's actually been my favorite vlogmas ever like to this day vlogmas 2020 in new york city was my favorite and this topped it like by 20 plus i had so much fun like just so many good memories what about easy i really liked that we did vlogmas while we also um moved mm -hmm. and that not only did we move and enjoy that but we'll have um something to look back on to when we uh when we remember how long we've been in this house someone just commented on yesterday's vlog and said z or the country looks really good on z it does all the times that you've been out there with the leaves and everything it's just so much fun i didn't grow up in the country but i grew up outside mm -hmm. and not like walking through the city outside i mean like real outside so mm -hmm. Oh. To be able to uh, be lucky enough to make the decision to give the same thing to Bryson is, um, is pretty cool. Yeah, he's like a Cali boy, but he's California like wilderness, not... Mountains. Yeah, like, so. not LA. He can do like outside wilderness, but we're kind of in like the deep south now, so that's a new take. Yeah, but yeah, this is kind of sad. Okay. Bye. Give a kiss.